Well, we've made a lot of progress over the past seven years on our economy. Uh, unemployment is down, deficits are down, gas prices are down, job creation, wages, uh, the rate uh, of Americans with health coverage are all up. Uh, so as I said at the State of the Union, uh, America is as strongly positioned as any country on earth uh, to take advantage of the opportunities of the 21st century. But uh, what we're aware of is we all have a lot of work to do. Uh, the budget that we're releasing today reflects uh, my priorities and the priorities that I believe will help advance security and prosperity in America for many years to come. And today we're rolling out a new Cyber Security National Action Plan, or CNAP, uh, to address short-term and long-term challenges when it comes to cybersecurity. My budget includes more than $19 billion for cybersecurity, which is up by more than one-third. And with this plan, we intend to modernize federal IT by replacing and retiring outdated systems that are vulnerable to attack. And this is not an ideological issue. Uh, it doesn't matter whether there's a Democratic president or a Republican president. If you've got broken, old systems, computers, mainframes, uh, software that doesn't work anymore, uh, then you can keep on putting a bunch of patch on it, on it but it's not going to make it safe. We have 400 people in the Social Security Administration whose sole job is to continually deal with this ancient software because uh, it's consistently breaking down or insecure.